Welcome to Synthesize This. In this episode, we will be synthesizing cymbals on the Dave Smith Instruments Pro 2. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is initialize the patch. We're hitting global, selecting 34, and pressing right now. First, a little bit of symbol theory. So the key thing we want to do with symbols is to achieve a dense array of inharmonic sounds. Well, there are two ways to achieve inharmonic sounds usually in synthesizers. Ring modulation and FM synthesis. Since the Pro 2 doesn't have a ring modulator, we will be using FM. We will be using all four oscillators and all of them will be set to pulse width waves. We will be using oscillator 2 to modulate oscillator 1 and oscillator 4 to modulate oscillator 3. First off, let's set all the oscillators to square waves. Only oscillator 1 and oscillator 3 will be audible. Right now 1 is on, so let's bring up oscillator 3. So now 1 and 3 are both on. Let's remove key tracking from all the oscillators for 1, 2, 3 and four. I'm going to set C7 for the first audible oscillator and D sharp 8 for the second audible oscillator. So even without FM we already have a sort of metallic sound going. Next let's work on the modulating oscillators, so two and four. These oscillators are only used to frequency modulate um, one and three and aren't actually audible themselves. Oscillator two sounds good at about C10 and four at about C9. Let's change the pulse width of the modulators to be somewhat thin. So we have the exact same sound as we did before because all I did was modify the modulating oscillators, but I haven't specified any FM yet. So what we're gonna do is go to oscillator one, go to oscillator mods, and then bring up the FM value. I'm gonna crank it up to max. So, as you can see, it sounds sort of very inharmonic and metallic. Again, oscillator three, I'll bring up the FM amount. Wait, so we're gonna crank up FM amount on oscillator three, that way oscillator four will modulate it. I'm gonna crank up to the max. So this is, if you sort of stretch your imagination, it sort of sounds like a symbol. So let's work on the amp envelope because that also has a lot to do with the illusion of what we're trying to achieve here. So we're gonna bring the sustain all the way down, attack all the way down, decay to some middle value and release to some middle value. And again, I'm just gonna play this by ear and sort of tweak until it sounds roughly okay. And since a hi-hat is basically a symbol, um, we can sort of approximate hi-hat sounds with this patch as well by removing the release. You can get a close hi-hat sound. And of course you can play around with all the different frequencies of the different oscillators to see what kind of results you get.
And of course you can modulate that as well. Add a bit of distortion. You can also try different wave shapes. And also play around with the character of the oscillators. Playing around with the high pass filter because naturally a cymbal doesn't have any low frequencies or any substantial low frequencies. Now that we have a basic cymbal patch, let's see what it sounds like with the Korg Volka. Hey guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and share it with your friends. Also, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with future videos like this one. I'll see you guys later.